Hi guys, it's Tom from Think Tech Tips here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make uh, this desktop background here. So, um, first thing you want to do uh, is get Adobe Photoshop CS5. Uh, that's required for this guide and to make this desktop background. Um, and then you want to find out your screen resolution. So if you right click screen resolution, I've got this up here. And then you're going to get this a pop up. So your resolution is going to be this. That's your number of pixels you've got on your screen. So um, we want to get, what you want to go and do is uh, make a new Adobe Photoshop file. New. And you get this up. So you want to um, put your pixels width height there. Um, yeah, that's the same. And then make this transparent. Okay. So we want to click OK there. Um, you're going to want to make this black, so if you click this button here, it makes it black to white. Um, you will click, and then click hold Alt and Backspace, and that's going to make the entire screen black. Then you're going to want to create a new layer, and set this one to around uh, these settings. It depends really what you want. I think 40 actually, yeah, that's been better. Um, yeah, we're trying to create the blue effect, blue colour in the background there. So, what we're going to want to do is click paintbrush or brush tool and then click this one here, or this one doesn't matter too much. So, the hardness is 0%. Size we're going to make about 900. There we go. Actually, let's put it exactly 900. Right, okay, so um, then what you're going to want to do is click once. Again, just make the background. Like you want it, uh, let's make it a bit bigger. Actually, yeah, spin it. Actually, I think I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is create new, another new layer and click the black and white thing again. Click filter, render clouds, and you get uh, this kind of cool effect. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click here um, instead of normal, but divide. And we're going to get this really nice effect here of the clouds. And you can lower the opacity of layer 2 here, so not obviously that much. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that for the purposes of this video. And then what you're going to want to do is um, insert your um, logo, so I'll be back when I've done that. Alright, I'm back, I've um, inserted my logo, so let's click place, click that, okay. So you can always move it around, okay, so click here, drag it around. Here, um, right now, you're gonna want to drag this layer, your logo, under the clouds layer, so it kind of makes it look uh, like it's part of the background. You don't want to lower the opacity properly. Or oh, that for my logo, I am because it it looks quite bright. So think around there is alright. Um, I'll be doing a guide on how to make this uh, logo as well soon. Um, right. Um, and now we're going to be making the uh, kind of lines, if you see in the background, they're cool looking lines. So, Right, so you want to, what you want to do is click your brush tool, and then go up here, and then we're going to be editing the settings, so click here, one of the presets, um, hard round, so you want 100% there. You're going to want about uh, put around 10 or 11 here. Go, what's going on here? Okay, um, and then you want to create a new layer, and then just set this to white. Right, there we go. So yeah, that's around the size we want. Um, just that's a useful tool. Step backwards, um, so you can just undo because undo sometimes doesn't actually undo it. It just undoes a bit of it. So if you want to click that, um, right. So um, what we're going to do now is set up the settings. Uh, we're going to go window. We're going to brush, and then we're going to click Shape Dynamics and Smoothing and Project Texture. Um, right, so just click the arrows to put that in there. And then we are going to click here. Um, and this is going to make the kind of swelly effect. So if you click, um, I'm actually going to, going to move my logo a bit actually. Just put it kind of around here. I click back on my layer. So you want to use the pen. Click once, click again, and then kind of just hold it down and rotate it so you can do what you want. Um, 
you're going to want to play around with that. So if I click, so there we go. So it's not going to be perfect, obviously, every time. So you're going to want to play around with it quite a bit. So you want to click there, and you want to line them up. So yeah, that looks quite nice. Um, if we do that, and then we're going to round it off there. I'm not sure how this is going to look. But, um, yeah, we're going to go around the outside after... Oh, God. Oops. Yeah, just make sure it rounds off before you um, click off the screen. You want to click... Mm, sorry, I keep my consent. Right, so you want to click up here. Kind of make it... Like that. Just so it kind of... Um, smooths off around there. Obviously, this is going to look perfect, so, yeah. What am I doing? Okay, layer 15. Layer 4, sorry. I think this is layer 4. God. Hope it is. This better not be my logo. If it is, I'm maybe in... Right, okay. So, <laughs> right click, stroke path, um, brush, stimulate pressure. Okay. Um, and now you're going to got this cool effect here. Um, and now you're going to click this mouse button here. Click once the background and press enter. So now you kind of deselected it. Um, right, and now you want to click. I think I've done this right. If I click that. Oh, yeah, we done it right. Don't worry. So don't take note of that. So click here, and then we're going to click this bun button here. Add a layer mask, and then you're going to click your rubber. And. Uh, I'm going to make this a bit smaller Just so it's a lot more accurate right and then you want to kind of maybe zoom in a bit uh, right okay so that I press control plus there zoom in so you're going to want to take this kind of bits off here there we go um, what am I doing now okay so you want to go you want to go over and then not over, but there. Um, well, it doesn't really matter to us. Um, okay, so then you want to kind of take this bit off here. You can do it any way you yeah. want. But I'm kind of rushing, rushing here. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, and now, I think I'm done there. Obviously, not going to look as. The, um, one of my background because I rushed that, rushed this one. It took a lot of time to make the one of my background. Um, and now we're going to want to click, uh, double click on the layer, click outer glow, I believe, and then click the same settings as what we had before, or similar settings. God, what am I doing? I think, yeah, I think, no, actually, I believe. It may be lighter. I'm not. Yes, lighter, sorry. Not the same settings. Okay, right. So you want to play around with that. I think 10 looks looks decent. Opacity, I think. 10? No, 100, sorry. Yeah, opacity 100. Um, and yeah, that's it basically. So um, we've kind of made the logo here. Made the back, uh, desktop background, sorry. Um, gonna want to play around with it. Um, obviously, it doesn't look too great because I've may have done the opposite of what I was meant to do, but um, yeah, uh, that's how you uh, create the background. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this uh, video kind of helped you and uh, you're able to make this logo. This back oh god, desktop background, sorry I keep saying logo. Um yeah, uh, on that topic I'm, I'm going to make um a guide on how to make this logo. Um also one extra thing. Nope, don't wanna do that. Don't worry. <laughs> um yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. Um please subscribe. Because uh, we do need more subscribers, because we we're putting out quite a lot of videos, so it would be uh, very nice if you could subscribe to our channel. Um, hope this video helped, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching.